Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be checking out coffees from black owned coffee roasters. I got three coffees from uh, different brands. Each of them are black owned and also have a fairly different story and concept for their coffee. So we have uh, three different coffees here. This is from Black and Bold. Uh, this is from Deadstock Coffee. And this one is from a company called Hogbatch. So the first one is Black and Bold. Uh, they are based in Des Moines, Iowa. And as part of their uh, company, 5% of their proceeds go to at-risk youth. Uh, if you go on their website, they have a bunch of different charities that they donate and help support. The second one is called Deadstock Coffee. They are based in Portland, Oregon. And this is kind of interesting. There's an interview on their website with the owner and they kind of are in the middle of a uh, shopping area with a bunch of um, streetwear brands. And he also said he's a bit of a sneakerhead. So um, if you go on their website, they have a bunch of different collaborations uh, with clothing companies, um, some interesting apparel, um, and you know, they're also a coffee store. So um, it's kind of an interesting juxtaposition. And the uh, third company is called Hogbatch. And their concept is that um, they mix the uh, brewing process with also aging in barrels that are used for uh, basically alcohol and spirits. So uh, they, I think, take the barrels of, uh, that have been used for gin or bourbon or scotch, and uh, they kind of mix the flavors by putting the beans in there. Um, it's run by two twin brothers and they are based in Florida. So let's uh, check these out, see how they taste and uh, I'll give you my review. Okay, I've tried them out. Um, first thing, these are all very different. So I, I managed to pick an interesting selection and uh, wow, are these different from each other. Um, so let's talk about them one by one. Uh, I think it's really neat. You could, if you're looking for one of these, they will give you each a very different experience. First is Black and Bold. Uh, so they are not kidding with the title. This coffee is really bold, really intense. Um, I think the flavor kind of smacks you in the face um, and in a good way. Uh, so to me, this coffee is, uh, the way I thought of it when I was drinking it is, it's kind of like, you know, a coffee I want with my breakfast. Uh, if you're having like eggs or, or something and you want something to cut through, this, this is kind of what I'm looking for. It will wake you up in the morning. Um, and that flavor wise, uh, it's got some interesting kind of pepper and lemon uh, notes um, so and it's just really strong too I mean if you want to like have a coffee uh, this is it so um, it's a really great coffee it's really intense um, and it stays true to its name that it is definitely bold and in your face um, coffee number two is Deadstock and to me this is kind of the more uh, traditional, high quality, you know, craft coffee uh, taste. So flavor wise, um, it's got some cashew and peanut, uh, and it's also sweet at the same time. Um, it's really, really drinkable. I can imagine having this coffee every day and I wouldn't get tired of it. I think most people will definitely enjoy it. Uh, and it, it's kind of like standard, really high grade um, coffee from a roastery. Um, third coffee is the Hogbatch, and this is completely unique and different. I don't think you're gonna get this anywhere else. Um, the best I can describe this is it's literally like if you took a, um, a gin 
and a coffee and you smash them together. Um, so first of all, when you take it out, yeah, it smells like coffee, but it also really smells like gin. You get that uh, medicinal, almost chemically, you know, smell and overtones. Uh, and it's really, it's really intense. Um, so uh, when you drink it, you, the same thing is true. Uh, it's, it's like having half gin, half coffee. Um, all the flavors are there uh, and it is very different. So uh, I think this would be good if you want something special. Uh, you know, maybe you're having friends over and you want to give them something unique. I would go with this. It's not going to be something they've tried somewhere else. Uh, and it's going to be a totally uh, different experience. Um, the only downside I would say is this is not necessarily something I would want to drink every day, multiple times a day. It's so intense and it's kind of like having a, like a drink um, that I don't know if I want to be drinking it all the time just because of that uh, intensity and it's kind of like having some hard alcohol at, you know, 10 in the morning. Um, but it's, it's really cool and uh, they also, this one is uh, gin based. But uh, I looked on the website and they are trying out different kinds of flavors from barrels for tequila or bourbon. Um, and so the, like they're heavily experimental is what they're going for. And you kind of, I think, never know what the different barrels are gonna produce in terms of flavors. So it's really cool. It's really unique. If you wanna try something different, go for this one. Uh, I kind of guarantee you haven't had something like this unless you've tried it from them. So really interesting, curious to watch them and see what else they, they try out. Okay, so uh, in terms of review, these are all really interesting, really different coffees. Uh, so you can't go wrong depending on what you're looking for. Each of these provides a really interesting option. Um, Hope you try them out and like them as well. Um, I'll put links to each of these in the description below uh, and I'll see you next time.